we're wasting all the time Another hour gone, did you hear the chime? You're wasting all the time Recorded for Thursday, February 20th 2020. Oh, yeah. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone of all stripes, shapes, colors. Doesn't matter if you're Michael Jackson. Here we go. This is Wasting All the Time. It was a song. Don't give me that look. God, that's the Dave look. Now I'm getting it from two directions. You earn it from two directions. This is the worst. Welcome to Wasting All the Time, an improv comedy podcast. I will be your host for this magical day. My name is Cody. To my right, after... Actually, it hasn't been a hiatus. After a one-episode hiatus for me, my buddy. John. Yeah, it's John. And then... I got it right. I'm not I'm not your buddy because that's John, so I'm mm. just Jess. You're, yeah. Oh. You're, you're, you're like... Yeah. You're approaching buddy. You're buddy adjacent. Oh. Literally. Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And to Jess's across... Yeah, I'm Dave, I guess. Yeah, he's Dave. He guesses. He is surpassed by. I think you'd guessed right. <laughs> <laughs> no, you guessed If I haven't left. dug myself a goddamn grave already, I'm going to try to do it a little bit more here. This is an improv comedy podcast. We do comedy bits, sketches, other hilarious things. For your entertainment, it's pretty funny. I enjoy it. I don't know about you guys. I have a good yeah. time. I mean... Historically speaking, I, I have enjoyed it. <laughs> there has been a period of enjoyment where this has existed simultaneously. Simultaneously. <laughs> mm. We have hilarious, attractive, intelligent people on our Patreon who are listening now live on Discord. Without much further ado, we're going to move it along to the first segment. It goes a little something like this. Welcome to Welcome Cody's to Words of Wisdom. Words of wisdom. wisdom. Soak up the knowledge. We'll hoist the mainsails, you soap-scrubbing teabag, because we're about to voyage through the 12 lockers of high school's worst memories. Don't forget that Joan didn't bring flowers to the prom because her date did not mail away to Publisher's Clearing House before he punched 11 children to Jupiter's second moon. It did not crash into Milwaukee. All of the people wove a giant net out of their pubic hair because that is the most efficient way to catch that's the most rare species of fish that lives only in Michiganian mountains, the rare rock hopper Mark III. It is a design of engineering proportions not matched since Abraham Lincoln kicked a puppy through the field goals. The most uproarious sentiment ever heard in the entire stadium was along lines of we can't fight twitchy monsters. So there you go. Mm. Yeah, history, history lessons too. You get, you get mm-hmm. knowledge, you get entertainment. Oh, yeah. I didn't. And it I all didn't. adds up to wisdom. <laughs> this does. You look slightly more scandalized than usual, Jess. What's? Why, why, why did Abraham Lincoln punt pun puppies? Why I should have said punt puppies. That was way better. Why, yeah, why she just punched up pun- your whole thing. That's that's fair. <laughs> okay, we'll do it live. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. There is but a taste of the wisdom that we all share and give to you in oral form. All right, we're going to move right along to the next segment here. It goes something like this. Upwards, downwards, forwards, backwards, I say we go fruit words. Oh, yes, you guessed it. We are doing the amazing fruit words segment. We're going to get two cards. One of them is a green card. One of them is a red card. One of them is an adjective, the other one's a noun. You'll figure out which one is which through your amazing English deductive skills, which I don't have because I get it wrong every time. We're going to do a scene inspired by those words, so here we go. We're going to draw the two actual cards right now in front of your very ears. (laughs) (laughs) Huh. (laughs) I'm a little terrified to read this. Oh, boy. Boy, howdy. Boy. Ironically enough, the word (laughs) we're suggesting today, terminal... Death trap. That's mm. right. Terminal death trap is our suggestion for this scene. <sighs> Randomly selected. It is random, as well as close as you can get to random. I think this one will work. I think this will be. I, it'll be mm, a good one. It'll be a good one. It better be better than the last one. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna drop them. 
mm-hmm. we're gonna become famous. Everybody's gonna look. They're gonna look at Teddy and Toddy. Uh huh. And we're going to we're going to we're gonna be the ones that capture and kill all the Sasquatches. Yeah, we can't just drop them. They have superhuman strength. They're just gonna climb out of the pit, Teddy. But- you think I didn't? You think you think that this this noggin didn't think of that? Yes. Didn't no. think didn't yes. think of the yes the impressive twenty two foot jump of the great Sasquatch. I you you said we're gonna drop them. We're gonna and drop then we're gonna em. be famous. Mm-hmm. There's another step in there. Oh yeah, that's where we kill them in the death trap. Y- yeah, if we just drop them, they're not gonna just die. They have bones like iron, remember? Yeah, yeah. So, That's why they can jump to 25 feet. Oh, wait, 25? How are we going to kill them? How are we actually going to kill them? We can't just drop them to their death. I can't dig a pit that deep, Teddy. Well, I can I, try. I've tried. I believe, I've tried. Look at all these pits. Ta- ta- I've ta- ruined a lot of the local ta- ecosystem ta- ta- yeah, I believe by wanton in destruction. I do, I, do, I do believe in you, though. I do <sighs> believe you can... Yeah, you, no, can, I, you, can yeah, yeah. you need to build a pit... That's going to be deep enough so that they can jump. They can't use their massive steel bones to jump 52 feet into the air. Okay? I Wait, how am I going to get out if I dig a, a 60-foot pit? Well, I can uh, just reach on and there and, uh, and grab you out. D- there's another pit to catch me in? Yeah, it's... Oh! Yeah, yeah, it is. Hey, it is. Oh, yeah, how, deep you been, yeah. how deep you dig it this time, eh? Oh, we what did. We uh, I think we're at six feet right now. Yeah, I, I see it comes right up to my uh, to my head here. Oh, that's that's dip-toes. some hard work there. Yeah. yeah. My, no, good job. My arms are yeah. sore. I, I mean, you're shoveling. gonna have to dig it a little bit deeper there. I you know. know. Do you think? Can we do? What if we do like twenty feet? That's that's twenty feet. That's pretty close. I mean, that's pretty close. That's pretty close. That's pretty I mean, close. I can I can jump the twenty five. <sighs> you know, but uh, can. No, oh. I thought I thought you could jump up to seventy two feet. 72, 72. Well, I mean, you know, if I had my coffee that morning. Oh, you know? I got to get the coffee. Got to get <laughs> the know, morning but, coffee. You know, I figure, you know. I don't want to dig 75 feet. Well, yeah. This, well, you know, I'll, I'll I'll skip the coffee that morning, you know. Thank, see, thank you. You know. Okay, just, yes, uh, I see. He's cooperating. Okay. Hey, could you cooperate just a little more? And you see that domino right there? Can you just oh, flick yeah, the, the domino? domino? Can you flick the domino? Oh, is this going to be one of those, uh, you know, Rube Goldberg things? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 I love oh, those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, yeah, I yeah, yeah. Knock down the force. domino. Teddy right, does it'll take okay. a while. So it's going to go up gonna, there. It's going to uh, take a while. Oh, oh. <laughs> it'll oh, yeah, take sure, a while. Yeah, yeah, getting the little uh, the It's set for 20 minutes. So what happens in 20 minutes, eh? Oh, I think you die. Oh, I die? We have to oh. wait for the candle to burn all the way down. Okay. Once that gets all the way to the bottom, it, it sets off a couple I more mean, things. Yeah, a couple more things. And then at least it will be spectacular. Cool, cool, cool. You'll go out with the big bag. A big oh, bag? Don't, big oh, bag. don't give it away. No. Oh, you're, using the, okay. you, yes. you're trying the explosives this time around, eh? Uh, mm, yeah, yeah, but that means, Toddy, you only have uh, 90 minutes to finish digging that hole. Oh, wait, what? So, uh, what do we agree on? Are we doing 25? 67 feet. <laughs> <laughs> That was awesome. <laughs> it took me a second to tune in, obviously, who John was. But he oh. said, catch me again. I was like, oh, oh all right, let's do this. <laughs> it was great. Oh. Well, that was Fruit Words. And we, you, that was a terminal death trap by Fruit Words. Cool. Hey, guys. I got a feeling. Huh? It's more than a feeling. Hmm. <laughs> song reference. Yeah, hmm. that's exactly what that was. Pop culture song, Hit Me Baby One More Time by Britney Spears. <laughs> We're going to move it to the next segment. Here's the from the point of view of the volleyball. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. You are present and accounted for for Twitter Shins Rapid Balls. The most amazing, hard-hitting, ball-rapid segment you're ever going to hear. We're going to start it right now. I found the top three tweets on the entire internet ever tweeted, quoted, or tweeted ever. I'm going to read them out loud. Our pundits here are going to give you the lowdown. We decide. You listen. 
Here we go. Number three. From Sleepless by the Sea at Bring Me Coffees. Can I tempt anyone with a coconut macaroon and a brew, John? Uh, you can tempt me, but I think you will find that I am not temptable by such things, ye foul temptress. I know everything about your wicked craft, and and you cannot uh, shake me from my duties as 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 a witch finder. I will find you, and I will stop you from tempting anyone else. Cause that's what witch finders do. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the most courageous conviction I've ever heard, finder, witch or otherwise. Jess, rebuttal. Absolutely. I am starving. If you don't put that coconut macaron in my mouth right now, I'm going to starve. I'm going to choke on my own larynx trying to eat it because I'm so hungry. So I'm going to open my mouth and you're going to put that macaroon, that sweet, sweet baby little macaroon in my mouth. And I don't know if you meant a macaron or a macaroon, but at this point, can't beggars cannot be choosers. And then I just want you to swirl your brew in my mouth <laughs> to help it go down. Because at this point, I don't even think I can I can chew. I can't emaciate, emaciate, emancipate anything into my mouth by myself. Thanks. Just is freeing starving people. Dave, counter rebuttal. Yeah, yeah, you know, I mean, uh, take it or leave it with the macaroons, you know, but I'd really, really like to have is a nice buttery croissant. It's all about the laminated dough, you know. <laughs> Man who knows what he wants, lamination station. Number two from Lee Vante at Lee Vante X. First of all, Brazil already misses you a lot. Second, we would like to know if there is a chance that you will return here this year, Dave? Hey, Levante 10, guess what? I would love to return to Brazil this year. I'm so glad you guys enjoyed having me. I didn't think that you would. I mean, I've <laughs> so many, like, not, you know, laws and, and local customs just obliterated. But, you know, it's all about moving into the future, and that's what I'm all about, future. And so if you want to have me come back and take you further into the future, I am down to do that. Let's just make the deposit ahead of time so I don't get so mad. Destroying cultures is what we do on the show. Just rebuttal! I'm over you, Brazil. Okay, I've blocked you from every single level of social media that I can. And I just, I need to ghost you. I'm sorry. I miss you, but for my own personal <laughs> healing, I need to hate you. Because my spirit animal right now is Ariana Grande, okay? And I want to thank you for being my ex, but now I'm going on and getting some real bacon and eggs. Because that's really what she's even talking about there. Okay, Brazil? You don't own me relationships is a metaphor for breakfast food we can all get behind john counter rebuttal well i mean it kind of depends because i don't know if there's witches there or not <laughs> like if there's witches there i'm i'm there man i'm there i will find them for you um, <laughs> but if there's no witches then like i'm really needed elsewhere um so so if you could write back and tell me um <laughs> i can go uh get a passport i guess uh, do you need a passport for? I'll find out. That's my job as a witch finder. I'll figure it out. So, but you just let me know if there's witches. Master of his craft, witch finder number one from Asadola at Asadol and a bunch of fucking numbers. Probably they can't make trust to robot buy faster data in robot memory. Because they have fear for robot future action? Bonus at Elon Musk. John, and there's the tweet in case because it's a little fucking wonky. Okay, so I'm not really afraid of robots as much as I'm afraid of witches. <laughs> so, but I mean, it sounds a lot like your robots are witches and robot witches are a thing that we can't have. We can't have that. So please let me know where the robot witches are so I can send in like the the 
the, the guys above me, the the the, the witch finder, like like generals, because uh, I think that this is a serious situation we need to address. Okay, and and I don't know who Elon Musk is, but it sounds like a witch. So um, let's let's not at him. Okay, <laughs> keep it on the DL with the witches. Classic witch finder asking someone else to find the robot witches. Jess, rebuttal. Hello. I am English-speaking person. And I help speak English with you. <laughs> I help you with very simple, easy tutorial <laughs> that you can find on here. My website. <laughs> Robots <laughs> can be good for futures. <laughs> Invest in the robots and for your futures. That will be nine ninety nine. I don't know enough about the stock market to invest in futures. Dave, counter rebuttal. The robot. <laughs> it's the future. The future. Is robot. You will fear the robot. The witches will not fear the robot. The future is now. <clears throat> ah, classic human Dave, who is our friend and says <laughs> things normally. This has been Twitter's and Rabbit Balls. You're welcome for all of that opinion oh, man. that you now have. <laughs> So now that we've found corners, nope, now that we've found knowledge from the darkest corners of the internet, i.e. Twitter, corners. which is horrifying and weird. Four corners. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to actually get something from some of you guys, our amazing interactive intelligent listeners. Some of you have already sent us things, uh, maybe at a place called wastingallthetime.com slash contact. Mm. And that way you can send us jokes, stories, notes, anecdotes. Reels, jigs, airs, and pipes. <laughs> and we will do them all. Jess sings, John, sing, Dave sings, everyone sings, so we'll just sing them. It'll be great. We're going to sing now? No. I, me, me, do me, you me, want? Me, me. No. <laughs> <laughs> the fear. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> At any rate, some amazing people have sent us some great things already, so we're going to do one of those. It's time for Things What Got Sent Us. This is Squid Muffin, eh? Squid Muffins, indeed. This one comes from Michael Bowles. Subject, hitting you up with deep themes. So, you know how families have these old recipes that grandparents love, parents are ambivalent toward, and the kids find just utterly disgusting? I'm looking at you, Jello Salad. Give me one of them scenes where someone couldn't make it home to Thanksgiving... So they had to go to their friends's. But the family recipes are, you know, things you'd make up in improv. So instead of going home, someone goes to friends or an acquaintances or like a classmate. Friendsgiving. Friendsgiving. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, actually, it should be a family because then they would have the traditions. Never mind. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just a random word association there. Mm -hmm. That was good. That was good. It's appropriate. Spoiled the whole premise. No, you didn't. Conceivable. We already have the premise. <laughs> Man, like I'm, I'm really sorry your flag got canceled. That oh, that okay. sucks. Yeah. That is moldy butt cheeks. But Clean you know what? Hands. It's fine. You can come over to my place. Oh, that's awesome. That's so nice of you to invite me. It is. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Th yeah. That'd be great to just you know not not have to spend the holiday alone. Right in the, in an airport yeah, with all the weird yeah. airport people. Yeah. Are you sure it'd be cool? Dude, I don't want to intrude. They love other people. It's fantastic. Oh, okay. You're going to have a great time. All right. Dad. Dad. Yeah. I got a new friend. A new... At least for oh. The, yeah, yeah. Oh. Introduce yeah. yourself. He's, he's old-fashioned. Oh, uh, uh, hi there. Uh, hi there, uh, mm -hmm, Mr. Mm -hmm. Svensson. Cool. Oh, interesting handshake. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to our house. If you're a, a, a friend of, of, of uh, his, then you're a friend of, of, of our, the... That's Welcome. Me, me Thanks so much. Thanks so much. I, I, I really appreciate it. You know, my, my flight getting canceled uh, yeah. unexpectedly, you know, it, it just, uh, it's nice to not have to spend the holiday, you know, in, a, in an airport. 
Nice yeah, show. well, well, uh, yeah, and we're happy to we're happy to share. We got plenty of things. We got all the traditional fixings and uh, oh, some of our own so family good. favorites. Uh, oh, so okay. good, dude! You're gonna you're gonna fucking love it. It's amazing. Nice. So, how do you do up the turkey? Oh, we uh, we uh, we do a salt uh, brine situation, uh, oh, you know, and uh, tell him about the special season. Cloves and uh, come on, it's okay. He's, he's not gonna he's not gonna give it away. You can tell him the secret. It's fine. Well, we we do use a bit of the moldy butt cheeks. So good. In the stuffing. Excuse me, moldy butt cheeks? Yeah. Is that like a... Don't you guys? You don't... Yeah. You don't know about moldy butt cheeks? Is that like a euphemism? Is that like a kind of mushroom? Like a silly name for a mushroom? No, it's, uh, it's when you have a loaf of bread for too long, and you know you just end up with the end pieces, and they get moldy. It's actually, Those are the, it's, the yeah. butt cheeks of the bread. It's really safe. A lot of people freak out about the mold. Totally organic. Oh. But you, gr- you 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 get those specifically, yeah. and you grind them up. You make the bread crumbs. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Out of the moldy butt cheeks. Out of the mold. Okay, so there's mold in the stuffing. It gets cooked. It's fine. Mom. Ah. Oh. Oh, do we have a guest? Yes. Oh, hi, Mrs. Oh, Spenson. Thanks so much so for having me. Oh, it's so sweet to see you. Give me a, give me a, a big hug. Okay. Give me a big hi, hug. Uh, yeah, okay, well, that's an hug. interesting hug there. Okay, all right. Um, oh. We were uh, just explaining some of our uh, family traditions. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he didn't yes. know about moldy butt cheeks. What? Oh, I did oh, not that's so know about adorable. moldy butt cheeks. I don't know how families mm-hmm. raise kids anymore. I, I Dad, come on. He lives in the future. He's got a laptop and, and like that. He's a future guy. <laughs> He's one of those future well, guys. I <laughs> hope that our famous family gravy isn't too much for a future guy. Oh, <laughs> the I'm way he sure reacted. No. <laughs> well, no. uh, the less said, the better. <laughs> okay. <It's, laughs> but it is tradition. So you make it from the drippings from the turkey? No. Some of them. They like so, exist in the drip, I mean, in the gravy. you could call them... Drippings. Yeah, but I guess it's it's the stuff that's left over in the bag when mm-hmm. you first take the turkey out. Oh, they're so mm-hmm. good. Oh, okay. So like mm-hmm. all that like goo and blood. And, oh, mm-hmm. The blood gives it a little richness. It really goo, does. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We we in this family we use all parts of the turkey. Mm-hmm. Oh well, that's that's laudable. I, Including yeah. the the uh, the plastic it's wrapped in. The bag. Yeah, the yeah. bag. Mm-hmm. So you use the bag as like a receptacle for the. Mm-hmm. For the gravy, like you serve the gravy out of the bag, huh? I don't follow. Oh. Well, you you use, serve something out you of it. Reuse you know. the bag. Your friend is so precious, sweetheart. Yeah, he's, he's got a lot of learning to do about the world. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go to the kitchen. Let's get a drink. Oak and oak. Yeah, drink. Drink yeah. sounds good. All right. Mm, all right. We got a little, little gin. Gin, good. And. Let's go a little seltzer. seltzer. You know what? I'm gonna make you. I'm gonna make you a Poseidon good. special. All right. Poseidon special. Tuna juice. Oh, perfect. Tuna- there you go, boss. Wait, 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 wait. Did you say tuna juice? Yeah. Like fresh squeezed. Oh, sweetie, it's Thanksgiving here. Put a turkey foot in there. Okay. There we go. She spoils you. Yeah. So when well, now you that we all say, have, uh... oh, go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. Like to go back a couple <laughs> to the tuna juice. Yeah. You said it's freshly squeezed. Mm-hmm. Most people do canned, and that's you know yeah. we're we're kind of a traditionalist, so we have fresh caught tuna that we squeeze, we wring it out, and put it through the wringer. Sometimes, literally, if if you know it's a special <laughs> occasion, and you pour it into yeah seltzer and gin. Yeah, beside and special. Well, now okay. we all have drinks. Let's yeah. uh, let's sit down. Let's uh, meet okay. me at the table here. Uh, what oh, was you your can name sit again? Here. You can sit uh, here. I'm. Brad. Brad. That's a name. Brad. Mm. Yeah, you take the chair at the end there. Mm. Uh, oh, thanks so much. And uh, why don't you uh, why don't you lead us in grace? Oh yeah. Okay. Really, this is really important. Okay. Okay. Um. They're really so, traditional. Really traditional. Okay. Really traditional. Really traditional. Okay. So don't forget the <clears throat> rhymes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. At any time, Brad. Hey. So impatient. Don't be a turkey. <laughs> oh, dark lord of hell. 
Uh, we pray that you bless this meal. We pray that you uh, you extend your shadow over these um, over these wonderful people <laughs> gathered here, um, and that you grant them the blood right that is your promise to all faithful followers. We ask this uh, in the name of your uh, goat-like visage. Um, anyone want to add anything? Well, that's good. That's great. That's you're not, so, so you're not completely ignorant. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Uh, that was awesome. Uh, you forgot the rhymes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, well. I just pictured John hearing rhymes and going, hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my completely ignoring that, that was the. No, no, good. good. Uh, <laughs> like opening up with. That's an interesting handshake. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, like, like just <laughs> setting it. Like, <laughs> the mom. That's an interesting hug. It's like. Uh, <laughs> I was, I was going to say that's an interesting grace. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that was beautiful. Oh. Nice, nice, nicely. <laughs> That's right. A little salt brine situation. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that. Thank you. Thank you so much, Michael Bowles, Yay! sending that suggestion. We had a lot of fun with it. If you would like to send in a suggestion of your own and hear us do it, wastingallthetime.com slash contact and send us questiones scene suggestions just notes in general uh you know we'd be delighted to hear from you because mm-hmm. uh human contact is beyond most of us and it's really nice when it's forced upon us mm-hmm. should we do the last segment of the day yeah mm-hmm. dudes that's right this week there is an improv game just like every week we're gonna play it it's an amazing game Deep in the cockles of my heart comes Aww. this game. I love it. This is directorial styles. It is, it is one of my favorite improv games ever. It is. It is also. It had, we created one of my most favorite scenes ever with this game with uh, Will Reed when he was on the show mm. uh, about somebody robbing a bank. Oh yeah, that is a good one. <laughs> we did a kung fu movie. <laughs> and it's just rolling on the ground style. Cannot be defended against. <laughs> I, every time, every time it gets me. So we're going to do directorial styles. Uh, usually we have the host be the director. Does anyone else want to particularly direct? Is anyone feeling a, a particular gumption to to really push directorial directing? I'll be the director. Anyone at all? Just speak right up. No, eh, that's an old bit. All right. <laughs> so Dave, Dave is going to be a director and the rest of us are going to be essentially actors in a movie. We're going to do a scene. Uh, it's not going to be a very long scene. Dave's going to stop us as a director and give us a new style of movie or visual entertainment media to do the scene as. We're going to do that scene again, but in that style. And it goes until uh, a certain point. I don't know. Then we're going to stop it. And it's going to be great. Yeah. All right. Uh, do we want a suggestion? Do we want to just jump right into it? Let's get a suggestion. Let's get a suggestion from our live Discord audience. That's right. <gasps> Brazil! Brazil! Okay. So I can't go there. <laughs> I broke up. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you are ready and excited for our excursion into the, the Brazilian jungle. There's a lot of really incredible wildlife to see, a lot of really great sights, and a lot of structures from peoples from long ago. Are you guys ready? I am. I'm just worried about the robbers. I'm, I'm going to kill them. I'm going to kill all those robbers. Wow. Don't okay. worry. So it sounds like that's taken care of. So first thing, we're just going to dive right in. You guys got your backpacks. You guys got your little pith helmets. Mm-hmm. I, I know they're a little outdated, but they're adorable. So we're going to wear them. And so we're just going to go right into the jungle here. Just start pushing things aside. Watch out for bugs. Neither of you guys are afraid of bugs, right? Um. Yeah, really afraid. I'm going to kill them. Hmm? Every last bug I see. Okay. Don't worry. So you got, your, you got your own personal bodyguard on this trip. Yeah, I'm much less worried now. Okay, great, great. Um, cut, <laughs> cut, cut, cut. Okay. This is, um, I mean, you're following the script. Yeah, nailed it. But uh, it's, it doesn't, it's missing something. It's missing some sort of, some intrigue. It, it needs an extra, an extra layer of intention. 
So let's let's try this again, but it's it's got to be more of a romantic type of a thing, you know? Let's go for like full on romance. Full on romance. We can do that. Okay. All right. Lucky. And <laughs> I can do it. Action. Welcome to the attractive divorcee's tour of Brazil. You'll notice my shirt is missing most of its buttons, so I'm going to lean over this nearby fire to warm myself. Have you ever been to the steamy jungles of Brazil? I haven't. I'm just worried about the robbers. I'll fuck them. (laughs) Don't worry. I'll fuck all of them. Too much fucking might get us in trouble, so we'll have to be discreet in our fucking. Anyway, you both have your skin-tight backpacks uh-huh. and sexy pith helmets. Yep. <laughs> They're see-through, so we can see your hair. Anyway, please follow my ass as we walk into the jungle. These jeans are very tight, and I'm going to stride manly through the foliage. Do you see these bugs? I do. I don't like bugs. I'll ride them. <laughs> I'm going to ride all the bugs. Don't worry. The cut. Bug. Cut, <laughs> cut. 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 <laughs> wow. Well, that was very uncomfortable. Wow. Good. Art should disturb the comfortable and, and comfort the comfortable. Uh, That's how you find the truth. Wow. Print that. Uh, by the way, print that. Uh, <laughs> it's not what we're going with, though. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, uh, <clears throat> sorry. I think what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go, we're gonna go a different tack here. I think we, I, I think we were on the right right track here with adding that extra element of of something, but I think I I, uh, I went the wrong way with it. Um, so let's uh, let's let's take let's make this sci-fi. Let's make this sort of dystopian future kind of a situation here. But sci-fi, sci-fi dystopian future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With that that tinge, you know, just the hint of that. You know, a, the... a tinge of a hint of dystopian sci-fi future. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, you know what to do. You're 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 great. You guys are just great. So, uh, action. All right. Welcome to the scavenger tour. We got to get all supplies back to the base, because literally every city has been destroyed ever, except for our one encampment somehow survived if you guys are ready have you ever been on a scavenger tour mission before i haven't i'm just i'm just worried about the waste thieves brains <sighs> brains we have zombie kyle we'll be all right all right so brains you guys have your gritty torn up but still functional backpacks uh-huh all right and you have your personalized Brightly colored hats. Mm-hmm. You somehow held on to. No, Zombie Steve, stop. Stop, 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 stop. Zombie Steve is eating his hat. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go out into the gray colored waste. You guys are ready, just push it through these cables and some of these human bodies and we'll be fine. Ooh. Just follow me, let's go. Oh, I do not like the corpses. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Cut. I'm <laughs> Cut. Sorry, folks. Um, sorry about that. I just, I, I just, uh, my AD just filled me in on what our uh, CG budget's <laughs> supposed to be, and that none of this is going to work. Oh. Um, I like the om noms. Oh, that was nice. Yeah, that was that was so improvised. It's not part of the script. <laughs> that was that was great. That was great. You guys did a great job. You did a really good job. Um, but yeah, we can't. It's just not not possible on this film. Not this one. So yeah, I don't know. Take five. We'll we'll come back to this later. All right. Okay. All right. That was great. Good, good job, team. Good job, team. We got this. We yeah. killed it. <laughs> <laughs> that was fantastic. Yes, yes, skin tight backpacks. Because that's clearly what they would wear in a romance movie. Mm-hmm. Of course. I think we were. In uh, Brazil. Uh, we had bypassed uh, romance and gone straight to erotic drama. That's fair. That's 
They're There's gone. a difference. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Gonna ride him. Gonna ride him. <laughs> Gonna fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> So that is not only directorial styles and improv game of the week, but in fact, the end of the episode today. I know. Try to compose yourself. Try to maintain your weeping and gnashing and uh, like that. Jess can gnash. You cannot gnash. I know. Uh, Don't rend your clothes and your hair because we will be back next time with more improv hilarity, more fun. And maybe a little more of the plot thickens. Am I right? I think so. Mm. Hey, I actually, is that right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, more of the plot thickens. Mm-hmm. I was right. So until next time, I have been your gracious host, Cody. I'm John. I'm Jess. And I'm Dave. And we wasted literally all of the time. It was amazing. Thank you so much. Dave is looking at me again like I forgot something, which I did. Didn't I? Boy, howdy. (laughs) Bye. 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 Congratulations. You've made it to the end of another episode of Wasting All the Time, a podcast. If you enjoyed this show, then please consider subscribing on Apple Podcasts or Stitcher, or follow us on Spotify. If you really enjoyed the show, then head on over to patreon.com slash timewastepod and become a supporter of our time-wasting efforts. Now, that was a lot of things I just threw at you. So if you forget all of that, just head on over to wastingallthetime.com. And there, we have all the answers.